You know, before we go to break, there's another story I want to address briefly. We talked about this way back when, Lewis, when John Demaniuk was first arrested. And if you don't remember this story, uh, John Demaniuk is an individual who was previously tried for alleged involvement in helping to kill Jews in a Nazi death camp during World War II. Recently, a German court sentenced him to five years in prison for his role in killing just under 28,000 Jews at, at the death camp. Uh, lawyers, he's Ukrainian born, and his lawyers are saying they're going to appeal the verdict. He's 91 years old, okay? And the debate over John Demianyuk has been, given the fact that he is 91, given the fact that he is, uh, I don't know if it's dementia or Alzheimer's or what, but his mental faculties are greatly diminished. His physical well-being is, uh, is certainly, he, he's not doing well physically either. And given the fact that he was also previously exonerated in a, in a different trial, doesn't it make sense to just say, you know what, we're not going to pursue this one? Now, others have said any crime needs to be pursued. The statute of limitations is not a factor. So therefore, if we have a reason to believe he is guilty of helping to kill Jews, then we are going to prosecute it. What's your thought on this? It's a tough call. I mean, if the guy wakes up every day forgetting what happened the last day, what's the point of locking him up? Um, well, the question does, is, is it for him or is it for society? If society yeah. remembers what he did, yeah. then does it matter I mean, that he does just the, is, is just the fact that he was found guilty enough. In this case, I think yes. Uh, I don't see the point of putting a guy like this uh, in prison. Uh, Th this was at the Sobibor camp in Poland during World War II. Uh, Demania came to the U.S. in the early 50s. He became a citizen in 58. He had been exonerated in a separate Holocaust trial two decades ago in Israel. In that trial, he actually was initially sentenced to death for being the notorious Ivan the Terrible camp guard at Treblinka, but then that was overturned by the Israeli Supreme Court when new evidence said that he wasn't Ivan the Terrible. But again, that doesn't mean that he was no one. Mm -hmm. And clearly this, this trial indicates that he actually was someone who helped, who had a role in the killing of almost 28,000 Jews. Uh, so it is definitely a tough, tough situation. He's in a wheelchair. Sometimes he was at the trial lying down. His family was saying he's just simply too frail to stand trial. Uh, what do you think about this one, Natan? I mean, is this, should this guy, does it still make sense to try this guy? What do you think of the verdict? At well, a certain point, do you do, and his Michael will have to be on for this. It, it's, it's, I think, uh, what do you think? Well, what I would say is that if this guy, if this guy was tried when he wasn't demented or when he wasn't too old to stand trial, then he would have already, um, served out whatever sentence he had, life in prison or, or death or whatever it would have been. Well, the his family is arguing that he was and he was exonerated. But of course, he, he wasn't Ivan the Terrible, right, Lewis? But he still was someone. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, the idea that he's too old to stand trial or too old to serve out whatever sentence doesn't make sense to me because if he had been tried earlier in his life, then we would say it's okay because he is competent to stand trial and he is aware of what's going on. So... The fact that he had that whole life to live and that he wasn't tried until now, to me, isn't a good argument because better now than after he's dead. I mean, what do you think of that, Lewis? You still think it just, just didn't make sense to, to try this guy? No, I think the trial is fine. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with the verdict. I think anyone like this should be tried, but I, I just don't see the point of actually locking him up. I see. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm curious to get the audience's take on it. David at DavidPackman.com. Let me know. I believe that uh, he should have been tried. He has been found guilty and he should serve some kind of sentence in a situation that maybe is going to cater a little bit more to his physical condition. But, you know, a lot of people would tell me that that's that's being too kind, that the I guy mean, doesn't the, deserve it. The only other the only other place he could go is some type of nursing home or psychiatric ward. So I guess. Is that is that good with you? I think uh, it's, it's a tough situation. Yeah, I, I think that uh, it's a tough situation, but I believe that the trial was was the right trial thing to was do. good. Definitely. Make sure to like the David Pakman show on Facebook, facebook.com slash David Pakman show. Let's take a break. We'll come back. We'll talk about Osama bin Laden's porn stash wanting to kill the president. We'll talk about the Koch brothers also buying some Florida state professors. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.